Welcome to CC United's slideshow uh, to increase positional awareness in the 11v11 game. This slideshow will not only be a part of our player evaluations for 13 year old players and older, as on day two of the tryouts they'll be trying out for a specific position, but it will improve our team's effectiveness as our players have a greater understanding of each player's role in both attack and def defense. This set of slides is in regard to the center defender and attacking play within the center defender um, and points to consider. It is hoped that through the next slides the players get uh, an insight on positional awareness, that they are able to recognize uh, how the players in this position move, um, who they support, how far they go and their responsibilities um, in the attack. Um, as you can see, our center defenders are four and five. These are the links of the people they support. So our center defender f four supports the right defender and the goalkeeper and the other central defender as a one, as a link pass. Also supports the right midfielder. And if you look at the diamond, the shapes they make, makes a diamond with six, seven, and two. Makes a diamond with 11, five, and eight makes a diamond with the fullback. Um, one important thing as these are central players is recognizing, um, is having an awareness of uh, playing. The advantage of being an outside player is that your uh, vision needs to be up and down and just one, one way because you, you can only pass either forward or inside. But for a central player, it is so important that our player number four recognizes based on pressure which one is the best opportunity is it that one that one that one that one that one or that one with the exception of three here is recognizing where the ball needs to go so one key component to all players and in the defensive position of cc united is what to do when facing your own goal here the red team have been direct and have kicked the ball behind our back line and four is going on to it. Now sadly most teams that we play against tend to kick it out. At CC United we need our central defenders to be comfortable passing the ball back to our goalkeeper. Um, this allows us to maintain possession and allows the movement pattern to start as this play needs to be predictable. As the goalkeeper gets the ball, note where our outside defenders are and where our fullbacks are. Um, so our fullbacks go either side of the penalty area looking to provide an angle left and right, but try not to block the passing lanes into our outside midfielder. Our center midfielder is the player that comes in here and is looking for a pass. Um, so in this slide we managed to get out and we found our outside defender but look at the supporting angle from our center back on this side and look at the shape that it makes in the triangle with the goalkeeper um, so look at the, the supporting angle is very key here as three cannot play a pass across six because 18 would intercept cannot go pack back to the goalkeeper as 13 would be clear on goal so needs to go here to play there and if you look at four, four has already opened up to provide angle of support. Um, also one of the things is our center defender is being recognized as how to switch the field. Um, when the plane needs to get across the field, who would they switch it through? So in this one, they're changing the point of attack using the goalkeeper. And the ball is now with our outside um, fullback. In this situation, uh, the ball is with our center midfielder, six. And this is a visual cue right here that our central defenders have to be able to recognize. So as you see player six facing our goal with pressure coming in, um, the communication from our central defenders is for that player not to turn and to play the way they 
4 would then move into a position to support. And on receiving the pass, tries to draw in the midfield line in order to start our attack, uh, as you can see now. So we've drew in 17. So now we have this space that's available to hit in behind. We also have the opportunity now, um, just through four hanging onto the ball, of starting the overlap. And now we're in the attacking third. Now as we move up the field, and six goes to support, one of the things that our back players must recognize is the space that opens up. So in here, look, six has gone in there to support the attack. 17 here will go and attack him. Eighteen drops in also. And that means that four has a pocket of space opening up and must try get into it and provide that angle as you can see already thinking about which way do I attack looking and being aware of players that are open in this situation um, as four gets into that pocket and receives the ball there is space opening up for them to attack and the remaining central defenders um, cover. So in this situation, what I want you to look at is the awareness of our center backs. So this is really important that our center backs, even though the ball is with the goalkeeper, is not just looking at the ball or anything in, its, in the close proximity, but is looking at this picture. And this tells us a story of what is happening right now. So right now, 11 is marked with 12, 8 is marked by 18, uh, six is marked by 17 and seven is double teamed with um, nine and seven. Um, if we broke the field up and I use this line here, the numbers in this section of the field are five against two. So we are five against two up. And with that, we need our central defenders to have the understanding to take risks. It is a numbers game, but it is important that our defensive players see uh, the numbers game in each zone broken up in each half of the th of the field as the pass is made wide if this pass reaches two the numbers still in this zone are five against two as the pass is made back to the goalkeeper the numbers have yet to change Now there is space opened up for our center back to join the attack, this space that's opened up right here. On doing so, the numbers have still stayed the same. It's still five against two. So the center back has to be aware it's not time to pass forward yet. Here the center back brings in player number four, the other center back, and the opportunity to go forward ball is played ball is now played out to three and once again we're still looking to disrupt this we're still looking to get an opportunity to play a pass forward and there it is so our center defender although providing that angle of support for three we now have um, we've created a um, number change in the next zone and now we are using our zone here look we are now five against three and in our midfield now we have a player extra ball is played back to four and four recognizes the passing opportunity so role of a center back at cc united um, in attack the um, the skill set first that is needed to play this position has got to have a good passing range. Um, 
got to be able to pass the ball in more directions than just forward and back. So it's very key that our, our centre back is comfortable switching the ball across the field, um, is comfortable playing forward, is comfortable playing back. Our centre backs need to be comfortable taking risks. They're going to play close to their goal. Um, their awareness of that number situation. Do the opponents play three forwards? Do they play two forwards or one forward? What's our number situation at the back? And how does that relate to midfield? How many free players do we get? So their awareness factor all without the ball is very, very huge. Um, their supporting though through that is these players here. So they, when the outside defender gets the ball, they're the first line of support when that central midfielder gets it. And the goalkeeper is critical that they're supporting at that angle on the edge of the box allowing the centre midfield to come into that central pocket and allowing our fullback to push forward. Um, and as that ball is played from out to in, that decision making of that first um, central defender receiving is, do I go across the field and which line do I choose? Can I go across playing across the back line? Do I use the keeper? Do I use the midfield? Um, and then once the ball is played out, recognising... Um, uh, to go support or if that support could be played out but uh, the defenders zone in midfield can I recognize when to dribble into the space or when do I pass in and that big thing is what I want all of our central midfielders to do is take risks be comfortable be able to play at the back and draw in those midfielders and get ready to create space for our midfielders to play